Hello everybody, Oli here from Pin Generator and with the new release of the template builder for Pin Generator, you can create your own templates uh, for your Pinterest pins. So whatever your imagination is coming up with, you can make a template now that can dynamically create Pinterest pins for you. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own templates and how to make them dynamic. <clears throat> so on the screen here, you can see that we've got a Christmassy themed template. And I'm going to show you guys how you can create a template like this from scratch and um, exactly what you need to do. And it'll be a perfect tutorial on how to use all the elements of the template builder. So this is the template here in short. And basically, this is going to allow you to create a whole bunch of templates like this with dynamic colors, uh, dynamic text, and all sorts of wonderful things. So let's get into it. So Here's Pin Generator, your page will be as normal, and you'll see there's a new template section on the top right here. So you can click top right on your templates, and you'll come to a section where you'll see all of your templates. So these are all of mine at the moment. I'm going to go New Template. You can choose here a size of the template that you want to choose. So it's already defaulted to the cut the normal Pinterest pin size, 1000 by 1500. But you can select various number of sizes, and you can even select sizes for Twitter, uh, posts, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, any size you like, really. And additionally, you can decide whether you want to share this template with other people in the community or if you just want to keep it private. So I'm going to go with a Pinterest pin and it'll create a brand new pin for us. So I'm going to rename this pin quickly. I'm going to call it uh, Christmas Testing because it's for us. Cool. So we've got a blank canvas here. So the first thing that we want to do is add a background. So let's add a rectangle element from the left-hand side column here. You can see that it's going to create a, layer, uh, a list of layers, all our layers here. So that's popped up here. And let's make it the size of the canvas. So let's make sure it's covering all the edges. Perfect. So this color, let's change the color of that. So let's activate the color settings. And let's take it to a nice Christmassy green. So that should do. There we go. <laughs> okay, cool. So now we wanted to add some uh, text. So we would like to add, just got to click on the text button, and you can see we've got some text here. So we want to create that a little bit bigger. And this is where our template text is going to go. So you could keep it as normal text, just write anything you like here. Um, but for our instances, we want to make this dynamic text. So first of all, let's make this white, which is what we wanted. And now we want to make this dynamic text. So we know that in pin generator, when you generate pins, uh, it dynamically inputs the text for you. So each pin has a unique text. And the way that we do that in the template builder is to select a text element and select the use detected text section. You can select title, description, URL, short URL, which leaves out the HTTPS and whatnot, or the date. These are detected fields that are available when you scan a URL. So we're going to use title here. And you can see it uses the curly braces and the word title, which denotes that it is a dynamic text section. So let's keep that centered nicely here. Uh, if you recall, we had our URL at the bottom. So let's add another text element. Take it to the bottom nice and centered. Let's resize it, make it a little bit thinner. Like that. Okay, we want to make this text white too. And we want to use our short URL here. So I want I like my text to be capitalized. So I'm going to use this capitalization feature here. And I'm just going to turn on capitalization for both of these text elements. You can see that this text is centered already and it's vertically aligned center too. So your text will automatically stay exactly center where you want it. The same for this. If you wanted to shift it to the right, you can just simply change the alignment to right or left, but I want to keep it as center. Cool, so our text is sorted. Now we want to add those sparkle uh, things at the top of the screen here. So those were an SVG element, and you can add an SVG or an image as you like. So if you wanted to add an image, you could add an image, you can see a placeholder for that image, and you can click upload image to choose your image here. So I've got a few images uploaded already, 
and you could choose whatever image you wanted to upload there for that. But in this case, I don't want to use an image. I want to actually use an SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic. Um, so I'm going to delete this image quickly here from our layers. Uh, and also with, the, with these layers, this determines the order of the layers. So you can see our background here, that's at the very bottom. So if I brought it, clicked and dragged it to the very top, it would be at the top layer and on top of everything else. So that's just something you should keep in mind. So let's add an SVG. SVG, there's a whole bunch available here for you, which you can choose from. But also I've created uh, some links here for you guys where you can generate your own SVGs from a really cool tool. Uh, you can go to an SVG library and pick up icons and SVGs that you like, or you can upload your own. So let me show you quickly. So this app allows you to generate your own like cool wavy SVGs, which you could use and download and then upload to Pin Generator, which I think is awesome, highkey.app. You can also use this SVG library where you can search for any SVG and you know it comes up with a lot of things here. Uh, or, or you can just get an SVG from anywhere and upload it yourself. So that's what I'm going to do here. So we've got some sparkles here that we've already uploaded and we're going to use selected and here they are. <clears throat> so that's great. So I'm going to rotate this a bit and then let's resize it. Let's put it there. Let's make it a bit bigger and we'll put it a little bit smaller put it there just as a little bit of texturing, you know, let's just rotate that a bit flatter cool so let's do that and i want to make change the color of this svg so i'll activate colors and i'll make it white and then i want to make it a little bit opaque just so that it fades into the background a bit there we go so let's just adjust, adjust our title let's get it over here a little bit bigger so that that's where our text is going to go and now let's add our stockings so those are also svg elements so let's go to the S of my SVG uploads and let's select a few stocking images. So I'm going to select that one. I like this one and I like this one. Okay. So now we've got three sets of stockings. Let's resize them all so that we can make them a bit bigger. Also, so if you hold down shift and when you're resizing, it resizes in proportion. Otherwise it'll resize, uh, X or Y independently. So let's move all of these in. I'm not going to worry too much about the resizing here, just for the brevity of the video. Oh, there we go. We've got our three stockings set. Lovely. So let's shoot over to the generate pin section and I'm going to quickly generate pins for my website, Gifts for Kevin. And let's see some new pins. Oh, so in this sidebar here, you'll see a list in the template session. Here's all the standard templates that you'll be familiar with. And now there's a new section called your templates where you'll be able to select your own templates. So here's the new one that we've been creating. It's called Christmas testing. All right, so we've got it here. It doesn't seem to be updated. So let's, so with saving, you'll notice there's no save button here and saving happens automatically. So about two seconds after you've done your last edit, uh, the template will be saved for you. So let's refresh that. Oh, so yeah, <clears throat> if you update your template here and then you cruise on over to generate pins, and you've made a change, but you don't see it here, you can simply click this refresh button <clears throat> and it'll refresh your template so that it shows your latest changes. So great, so we can see here that we've got our template, it's working nicely, and all the dynamic text is being imported in. So this red stocking is a little bit too high. So let's move it a bit down to there. Looks a bit better. And let's go back across here and let's refresh it just to see our change quickly. There we go. So it's gone down a bit. Perfect. Now, maybe we move the text down a bit. And also let's, we want to be able to use our dynamic colors, right? So I've got a bunch of dynamic colors here, but 
the color is green always at the background. So let's say we want to use dynamic colors. So let's come on over to this section here. I'm just going to adjust the text a bit. Now, to make a color dynamic, you can simply click on the layer that you want to make the color dynamic. And you'll see in the top row here, there's a Use Dynamic Colors button. So when you check that, and it's on, you can see it's on, it's now it's green, it will go then and use your selected colors in your colors and font section here. So you can create a bunch of unique pins uh, from one template. So let's refresh this template now that we've made that color dynamic. Boom. So here we go. Bunch of templates with all dynamic colors, uh, dynamic text, and your URL at the bottom. So yeah, that's a crash course on how to create your own template. A few other things perhaps you should know. Uh, so we have, we've, we've talked about we've, we've spoken about reordering layers. So let's say this title text. We want to move it uh, in front of these stocking. So we'll move the title text to the top of this pile, and now it's on top of everything. You see that? Or you can you can move it to any state, any point, and it'll go there. So that's just something handy to know. Uh, if you want to zoom in and you want to look at an element more closely, you can use the zooming slider on the side. Um, something quite cool that I have set up is uh, to allow you to snap to border. So if you want to snap something to a corner, you'll see that you can Turn that on and snap it quick to the border, and it won't let you go past uh, the border, which is quite cool. I use that sometimes to set my backgrounds. And then you have your normal uh, text settings. So you'll see a, a different menu for each element. So for text, you see this menu. For simple rectangles and SVGs, you see this menu. And for images, you'll see a separate menu too. So with text, you can also set dynamic font color here by clicking this button here. Otherwise, it'll use the, the font color that you've selected here. Um, what else? I think that is it. Oh, and then additionally, you can share your template by checking this button, uh, and then it'll be shared with the community at large. So uh, if I decided to share this, I could, we can click the Share button, and then let's head on over to the Template section. And... We can see our templates on this first tab here. So these are all the templates I've created. And then the shared templates, which are shared by other people of the community, you can see that a few images have been shared here. So if you see something you like, like let's say uh, I like this Christmas special, I can heart it, and then that will be saved to my favorites. So you can see my favorites here. So if you find a bunch of templates you like, you can save them and put them in your favorites here and save them for later. So any favorite templates or shared templates, you, if you love them, you can also uh, click on them. So let's say we love this one, and you can make it your own. Uh, it'll then open it up in an editor, and you can uh, edit it as you like, maybe add your own logo, uh, or any other elements you like, change the colors. And let's say this is Ollie's Christmas special template. Cool. And now when we go to the template section, we'll see in my templates, we've got the Ollie's Christmas special template here. Awesome. So that is a crash course on the template builder. Um, if you have any questions, please shoot them to me uh, on the chat uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cool. Hope you enjoy making templates and keep on filling.